Now. Welcome to News Watch 12 at 6. I'm Justin Betty. For many veterans, the past year has been a difficult time. Between the COVID-19 lockdowns, their feelings towards the Afghanistan withdrawal. News Watch 12's Kyle Pazorski joins us now live in studio to talk about how the Oneida County Veterans Service Office can help. Kyle. That's right, Justin. The Veterans Service Office is trying to make sure that it is easier for veterans to find help by making sure that they have someone to talk to. Veterans are the number one group for suicide. Um, so without, you know, going, getting out, doing things, you know, it increases the risk of suicide. The Veterans Service Office says that struggles ranging from issues abroad to COVID lockdowns at home adds to a sense of loneliness that comes from vets being less likely to talk to non-veterans. There's nothing in the civilian world you can really compare it to. Um, so to be able to try to sit down and talk with somebody about how you're feeling about things or, you know, different stressors, frustrations, things that in regards to war itself, unless you've been there, you don't understand. Daly says that veterans in the Northwoods have a feeling of community with others, making COVID precautions hard for some. With the smaller area that we have, we do have a high veteran population in our area. So, you know, the people that are, you know, going to go out and keep doing things and stuff like that, you know, it's easy for them to get out and talk with other vets and stuff like that. Daly says that for vets looking for help, the Veterans Service Office will be creating an events calendar so that vets can find the right resources. We'll have a listing of all the different organizations, what days, like a lot of them are like the first Monday or first Tuesday of the month, something like that in the times. So we'll have the organization, the day and the time that they meet so they can show up for those meetings if they want to. If you are a vet or no one that is struggling, you can contact the United County Veterans Service Office. Justin. Thank you, Kyle. Outside, Jeff, beautiful day today. Yeah, plenty of sunshine today with high temperatures back up near 70. Tomorrow, same story, followed by some changes getting in here on Friday. Look outside right now, though. It's still close to 70 in Rhinelander, Eagle River, Anigo, Merrill. We'll take it with some bright sunshine out there right now. By the way, it sets here around 710 this evening. Okay, this looks like we're in trouble, but we're not. There's a little system now back to our north and west, a very moisture-starved system, but high pressure. Pressure is locked in across our area. This will fall apart as it moves to the east this evening. We have no chance for rain tonight. Just a few clouds across the area tonight as this will all miss us to the north this evening. So our forecast then tonight though is partly cloudy skies and very comfortable with low temperatures down near 53. Your full forecast is coming up, Justin. All right, thanks, Jeff. After some uncertainty earlier this year, healthcare providers are now encouraging women who are either pregnant or breastfeeding to get the COVID-19 vaccine. You UW health leaders say recent studies show the vaccine is the best option to keep parents healthy. One reason they say is it makes sure parents are healthy enough to take care of their infants. And then if those parents are exposed to, to the COVID virus, being vaccinated does decrease the risk of getting severe disease and not getting severe disease will certainly place them at a, you know, an, an advantageous position for taking care of their newborn. Yeah, originally, healthcare workers say some folks were worried the vaccine could result in premature births or defects. But according to CDC's tracking apps, there have been no connections between vaccines and any possible defects. Instead, UW health leaders say the vaccine can actually help newborns as mothers transfer antibodies through their breast milk. Uh, via a certain type of antibody called IgA um, that may be protective for newborns uh, against COVID-19 vaccine, uh, COVID-19 virus. Uh, there's going to need to be a lot more research on that moving forward. UW Health leaders say the results in the CDC tracking app have been among the big reasons why they are now encouraging pregnant women to get vaccinated. Governor Evers and Wisconsin DHS leaders are reminding unvaccinated folks they still have time to get their cash reward for getting the shot. The $100 reward is part of their incentive to get more people vaccinated. The program is open to anyone in Wisconsin 12 years or older who will get their first dose uh, anytime over the last month or so or the next few weeks going forward. Over the deadline to collect the $100 is this Sunday. In order to receive it, you need to fill out a form at 100 dot wisconsin dot gov 
The North Lakeland Discovery Center is raising money for their new nature centers. They can hold events year-round. So far, they've raised more than $3 million, and they're hoping to reach that $4 million mark soon, thanks in part to the over 500 individual donors who have contributed to the campaign. It's ter tremendously gratifying um, to just to feel that, know that people care that much and are willing to do it. Organizers say once they reach their goal, they can begin construction on the building itself. It's not just Manitowish Wives. It's a regional wide uh, organization. We have members and, and uh, supporters and volunteers all over um, the Northwoods. And if you are interested in donating to the Discovery Center, you can give them a call or check out their website for details. The Rhinelander paper mill owned by Alstrom Munksjo has announced they'll be deactivating or temporarily idling one of their paper machines, just one of them. They say it's actually good news for those who rely on their specialty paper products because this will shift to increase their productivity and their efficiency. However, it's not necessarily good news for all the workers. This will cut a certain number of jobs, but the actual number of positions affected right now is unknown. Saying it still depends a bit on how many retirees they may have in the meantime. There are still a few open positions, though, that need to be filled before they know the exact number for sure. They are hoping to limit the number of layoffs if possible. This won't affect anybody who lives near the paper mill. From the outside looking in, operations are still going to appear um, as usual. In the meantime, a team of engineers and maintenance workers will also be working to spend time properly shutting the machine down and keeping it ready and operational for when it does be needed again sometime in the future. The Tomahawk Fall Ride returns this weekend. Vendors, businesses, the Chamber of Commerce are all busy preparing for it and they have high hopes. Last year's event was canceled because of the pandemic. This year's Chamber officials are expecting a big turnout. Jennifer Turkovitz is the Executive Director of Tomahawk Main Street Incorporated. She and other city leaders are making sure everything is ready in time for the Fall Ride. We have a lot of prep and truthfully fall ride prep begins pretty much on Sunday after fall ride ends for the next year. So it's a year round project. The chamber has to get the right permits to make sure everything is up on Main Street. One small business along the way, What's Bruin, a coffee shops expecting a lot of visitors. The owner is preparing more coffee, more fudge, more cookies than usual to accommodate the expected heavy traffic. Everybody kind of gets ready for it all summer. Like they talk about ramping up and getting things ready. So they said, you know, whatever you think you might need, make double. So we, we're planning for a lot of business. Tens of thousands of people are expected for the events. They start Thursday night when the chamber is holding a bonfire in Brat Fry at Sarah Park. The full list of events goes through Saturday. They're all up on the chamber's website. Well, it's beginning to look a little bit like uh, fall or autumn outside as some leaves are starting to change colors. We'll show you how many more sunny days you may have left till you see more of that in just a few minutes. Jeff's in with your full forecast next on Newswatch 12 at 6. Newswatch 12 is brought to you by Bone & Joint Walk-In Care. Hi, I'm Mary, owner of SoSmart, Central Wisconsin's largest and longest-running FAF dealership. The FAF IDT system makes piecing quilts so easy. Shop FAF sewing, quilting, and embroidery machines at SoSmart in Rhinelander and Wausau. In case you're wondering why we're dressed like this, Kristen and I are in a shameless push for an Oscar. Tonight at a special time, Kristen and Dax prove why marriage means sacrifice. You see the kind of pain? Family Game Fight tonight, 8, 7 Central on NBC. It means the world to be here. This was a gold medal for Bulldogs. The winner is... No one has ever reinvented mattress shopping until now. The grand opening of Slumberland Sleep Solutions, where we've simplified, uncomplicated, and laid things out for you. Start with a quick rest match to pick your basic mattress type. You love memory foam. I really do. Then shop the information and rating system on each bed. Did you know you can get great back support with a soft feel? It's true and easy to find. Mattress shopping, reinvented only at Slumberland Furniture. How to change the way you pizza. Step one, grab a delicious Papa Murphy's pizza. Step two, bake. 
Step 3. Chow down on the deliciousness. Right now, get a large cowboy pizza. Papa Murphy's. Whatever your water worry, Culligan Water can help. With over 40 filtration systems from the world's best softener and safer drinking water systems, no one filters more than Culligan Water. The only water that comes with a van. Contact Culligan Water, the local water experts. So Smart in Wausau and Rhinelander is your DIY and fabric headquarters. I love teaching free FOF owner lessons at So Smart. Making clothes is great with my FOF creative icon that I bought at So Smart. Shop FOF sewing, quilting and embroidery machines at So Smart. Welcome back, my friends. Well, the temperature results are in for August 2021, and it came back as the sixth warmest August on record globally. That's land and ocean temperatures. So on this map, red's above average, blue is below. By the way, the northern hemisphere was the second warmest uh, August on record. All right, here we go. Going forward, though, out there today, we had lots of sunshine across the area with temperatures hanging out near 70, which is the average high, right? Uh, the record high being 90, record low being 24 back in 2007 and the sun will set here shortly at 708 this evening okay so going forward temperatures hanging out right now basically in the upper 60s to low 70s that's what we're supposed to be doing after high temperatures pretty much in the low 70s earlier this afternoon but look at all the heat building to the west of us right now that will make a run for us but not really tomorrow or for friday or even saturday uh, we still have 80s in the forecast for us moving Moving in our direction for Sunday into Monday. Uh, until then, though, mid 70s tomorrow, a bit cooler for us on Friday, followed by a recovery on Saturday afternoon. Okay, so going forward today, lots of sunshine earlier, followed by some puffy clouds out there throughout the afternoon. Uh, they were fair weather cumulus clouds. Uh, those are good for us. Uh, but there is a little something, something just to the west of us right now. Uh, there's some energy in the atmosphere that's going to squeeze between the low pressure and high pressure and give us a windy day tomorrow we could have wind gusts up near 35 miles per hour through the afternoon so here's the surface map that high right there and that low right there are kind of squeezing together right now that's going to kick up our wind tomorrow afternoon meanwhile though there's a little system right there you see it yeah get your bifocals on there's not much going on to this but it will increase the cloud cover for a couple hours tonight and bring some shower activity north of lake superior we will stay dry across our neck of the woods tonight and basically we are dry until our next system gets in here on Friday afternoon. Futurecast shows us very well the clouds increasing for a couple hours tonight. The showers will stay well north of us this evening and we are in for a beautiful evening tonight. So here's your forecast then. Partly cloudy skies and a bit breezy, increasingly breezy overnight tonight with low temperatures down near 53 and a west wind that could gust near 20 by tomorrow morning. For tomorrow, here we go. It's Thursday. Partly cloudy skies to mostly sunny skies through the afternoon. It'll be breezy though tomorrow with a south southeast breeze that could gust near 30 miles per hour through the afternoon. That will give temperatures a boost up into the mid 70s tomorrow. And then looking ahead, your seven day forecast by Northwoods Furniture and Mattress shows there's that chance for rain on Friday. Not an all day rain, several hours of dryness Friday, but still a couple of the games could be impacted Friday night. And then there's the weekend. Again, high temperatures in the 70s Saturday, followed by low 80s on Sunday. Justin. All right, thanks, Jeff. Well, that forecast the next week still looks a lot like summer, but fall here in Wisconsin is right around the corner. The state has over 6 million acres of public land. Great for checking out the changing colors. Uh, typically leaves change here in far northern Wisconsin between the last week of September and first to second week of October mid-October and more central Wisconsin, the timing and the color changes depending on the species and the weather. Uh, for the most specific drives you can take throughout the state to really enjoy the leave change, you can visit TravelWisconsin.com. Meanwhile, Newswatch 12's Andrew Kikafer gives us a look at how exactly the colors emerge in the leaves and some factors that may cause some trees to show signs of color a little earlier than they should. 
the oranges and reds and yellows. Wisconsin DNR silviculturalist or forest health expert Colleen Matula explains how trees attain their vibrant colors. As the daylight shortens and we get these cooler temperatures, especially at night, uh, chlorophyll production, which is a, the green color in, in leaves, um, starts to sh- slow down. The production starts to slow down and uh, a lot of other pigments start to shine through the leaves. While shorter days and cooler temperatures cause trees to show signs of fall, Vilas County Forest Administrator Al Murray explains that stressed out trees can induce an early show of fall. Stress just results in that tree slowing its growth earlier. So once that tree growth starts to slow, that's when that's when the auxins in the in the leaves become more apparent and the chlorophyll becomes less apparent. Stress can come from diseases, insects, and drought. However, some trees like maples have endured stress from high water tables. I'll notice, um, take for instance, red maple, they'll turn those brilliant red colors. And some of those trees around, you know, wetlands in areas that are stressed, you'll find them go through color change earlier than others. Despite some stressed trees, expect a great display of the slightly earlier than average fall colors. I think we're going to have a beautiful color year as long as we don't get some big storms. From the Northwoods, Andrew Kikafer, Newswatch 12. The experts add some of that wildfire smoke we saw all summer may have blocked some sunlight. Could be another reason why some of our leaves are changing a bit earlier than usual. Last month, Aspirus celebrated the addition of several new hospitals to their network of locations. Today, they had a special ceremony at each of those locations. We'll take a look at that and what the whole thing means after the break. At Lens Truck, we've made the buying experience fast and easy. All our trucks are guaranteed clean certified, can be bought hassle-free online, and can be delivered right to your door. It's our way of saying thanks to our past and future customers for the last 35 years. And when you buy a Lens Truck, know that you're buying the best used truck money can buy. Go now to LensTruck.com. You'll find over 800 used trucks, all priced to move. Go now to LensTruck.com. Lens Truck. You've been putting it off all summer long, but now is the time. The time to call Renewal by Anderson and replace those frustrating, inefficient windows. Plus, we're having a Labor Day sale, so you'll get incredible savings on the most trusted family of window and patio door brands in America. Call for your free window diagnosis and begin your Renewal by Anderson Signature Service experience. A unique start-to-finish home improvement solution, skillfully guided by Renewal by Anderson professionals. We're the best at window replacement because it's the only thing we do. In fact, Renewal by Anderson Signature Service has earned us 4.7 seven stars and customer satisfaction from over half a million happy customers. Act now because these unbelievable Labor Day sale savings on our exclusive Fibrix composite material windows end soon. Fibrix won't warp or bow over time like vinyl can and is scientifically proven to stand the test of time. Our Labor Day sale is going on right now, but it won't last. Call today and let us complete your summer to-do list so you can wrap up your summer in comfort and style. Renewal by Anderson, the better way to a better window. Start your in-demand career in welding at Nicolet College. Learn advanced techniques from American Welding Society certified experts. With direct connections to employers, become AWS qualified at the lowest cost, at your pace, on your schedule. Your welding career starts here. Nicolet College works for you. Update your home's exterior with help from Menards. We have the best in-stock selection of Mastercraft doors or design your door your way. In-store or online on Menards.com. Right now, get 11% off all Mastercraft doors. Enjoy the cool autumn breeze with a new Larson Lakeview Storm Door. It offers features like a screen-away retractable screen and a hold-open closer. Get 11% off all Larson Storm Doors right now at Menards. Save big money at Menards. This portion of News Watch 12 is brought to you by Slumberland. Aspirus Health added seven new hospital locations to their network back on August 1st. Today, they had a tree planting ceremony to mark the beginning of this transition, which they say should be completely done by about December. News Watch 12's Cooper Henkel has more. 
plant a tree, recognize the employees, and, and really celebrate the integration. The ceremony marks Aspirus's commitment to grow and thrive in communities across the region, like Tomahawk and Eagle River. We're able to uh, demonstrate to the communities, to our patients, to our employees that they're joining the larger Aspirus health system and uh, that we're going to be able to serve the north woods of uh, Wisconsin, UP, uh, Michigan, uh, better because we're 11,000 strong now. The addition will expand the network's resources further, which they say will help address rural health care disparities, connecting larger hospitals to smaller towns. It means that I'm adding 2,700 colleagues to be able to collaborate with, to be able to provide care across uh, our rural market and to continue to uh, enhance the services across our footprint. The full sign and name change at each location is expected to be finalized by December. For Newswatch 12, I'm Cooper Henkel. Woodland Creek Furniture in Minocqua has over $3 million worth of furniture in stock and ready for speedy delivery. Find an incredible selection of furnishings ranging from traditional to transitional, cottage to casual. Shop Woodland Creek Furniture in Minocqua. When I have three brothers that passed from it because they didn't believe in masks and going around visiting people, other people, and because they were tired of sitting at home, and that's what happened to them. I got real scared. Jumped in my car and came over and got my shot. The new double cheese chicken boss burrito from Taco John's is queso good. Because inside you'll find our new and improved queso blanco, which is anything but queso so. It's a dreamy, creamy, three cheese, red pepper, and smoky hatch chili delight. Only this burrito can handle all that queso plus nacho cheese. Double down on delicious with the new double cheese chicken boss burrito. Part of our queso blanco creations only at Taco John's. Bigger, bolder, better. Fall is one of our favorite seasons at Traders. Our boutique is loaded with the latest fall fashion and jewelry. Check out our unique boots, shoes, and purses. Fabulous fall home decor and our adorable grandkids in our baby boutique. Find something you'll love at Traders. Conveniently located near downtown Rhinelander, the Pines Event Center is a modern venue for all types of events. From weddings, family reunions, and fundraising galas to baby showers and corporate events, we have a variety of spaces to meet your needs. With an 11-acre property to enjoy outdoor events and room for 230 guests indoor, multi-use suites, plus ample parking, we're equipped to put your mind at ease. The Pines Event Center is a welcoming space to gather and celebrate. Plan your next event with us. It's the Gym and Design Event of the Year, presented by United Color Gems and Wickersham Jewelry. Explore thousands of gems from across the globe. Choose from a spectacular array of exotic gemstones. Admire uniquely shaped gems like you've never seen before. Three days only, September 16th, Rhinelander, September 17th, Marshfield, and September 18th, Wausau. Take advantage of interest-free financing. Wickersham Jewelry. If you can dream it, we can make it. Eagle Floor Covering in Eagle River, locally owned and operated for over two decades. With over 40 years of combined quality sales and service experience, we can help you find the right floor for your lifestyle and budget. After a 17-month shutdown, some of Broadway's biggest shows finally return to the stage tonight. Hamilton, Wicked, Lion King, Chicago, all making their debut. And to celebrate, some cast members uh, did a live rendition of New York, New York, out on the sidewalk to In celebrate the, the return of Broadway. Of New York. That's kind of cool. Yeah. All right. So for us, though, also kind of cool, our weather. We have a great it weather forecast local. this week. Uh, nice tomorrow. A couple of thunder showers getting in here on Friday, Look but it that. will not be Hardly an all-day rain. Sky. Look at that. Blue is a perfectly blue sky. Uh, the sun sets earlier, though, on 710 this evening. So here mm. we go. Okay. So there's a little system back toward north and west. I know it looks like we're in trouble. We're not, though. There's high pressure over us right now. That will all fade away quickly uh, with the sunset this evening. And we enjoyed temperatures back in the 70s today. We're going to go for mid-70s tomorrow, but then a bit of a speed bump. We'll get some clouds in here on Friday, a couple of showers around 2. Uh, the game is Friday night looking pretty good, mm -hmm. although there will be a couple of rain showers across the area on Friday evening. Okay. Lightning and thunder probably Ooh. not. And then look okay. what happens. The weekend's fantastic, followed by... 
fall is on the books here next Wednesday. Even besides the 80s, it's a nice week ahead. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks for joining us on News Watch 12 at 6. Uh, Mr. Food and Wheel of Fortune are next. We'll see you at 10 with more.